Alright, there we go, stream. Yeah, I'm a little late, sorry. Um, basically, the general gist of why I'm a little late is I actually didn't have a Who Is plan today. Instead, we were going to stream at midnight, and we still are, but I just want to get Who Is done just in case some people can't come on at midnight, actually. And obviously we had some technical difficulties, but we're going to get started on this who is. This is Bowser. It's Bowser. I'm going to be real. If you haven't downloaded this Bowser yet, I would recommend you do. He's really good. And I thought that he would be a more popular character, if I'm honest. So let's start things out. This is a little like Ultimate Bowser. As you can see, Jab is like a simple one too, kind of like Ultimate Bowser. If I remember right though, it doesn't have intangible arms. And this is because Bowser is a little different in this game. First off, we need to talk about tilts. F tilt is awesome. F tilt, this big swipe. Awesome. Dash attack, by the way, which I consistently forget to talk about. It's not great. It's kind of like Ultimate Bowser in the way of it doesn't really do much. I have not found much use for dash attack, but F tilt is awesome. It, it's what I wish dash attack was. Down tilt. Similar to Ultimate Bowser. It's a little combo starter. I like to think of this like it's almost Bowser's up throw from Smash 4. Like that kind of knockback, if that makes sense to anyone. Up tilt is the ultimate up tilt, which is amazing. Smashes are amazing as well. F smash is just like your standard Bowser F smash. The big kick of justice is what I mean. The kick that literally... <laughs> I'm going to be real right here. This kick is very broken. But at the same time, it is Bowser's F smash. Sorry, I'm just drinking coffee. Then we have the new Ultimate Down Smash, which I like a lot. It functions very well. The one gripe I have with it is that, kind of like Ultimate, it can be used for cheap kills. Like, if I'm right at the ledge, I can go. I'm going to try and capture it. Now, you can see right there, if Craig was, like, trying to jump back up, I could smack him. And it would pretty easily hit him but again this is just like bowser's ultimate smash deck up up smash similar thing i don't believe there's armor on this though which is unfortunate but at the same time like this bowser has new mechanics that will definitely make you be like oh oh and we're gonna get right into them with neutral special chat you may be saying what's the axe for well fun fact the axe is a hitbox that i can smack around i'm just kind of showing smacking it around i can also draw it to me this is not a great example of it being drawn I've actually never experienced that, but I can draw it to me, kind of like Thor draws his hammer, with by holding neutral special again. You may also notice that Bowser lights on fire with this, meaning that Bowser actually takes damage from drawing the axe to him. But being Bowser, he doesn't really mind this, and Krag can also destroy it with an attack. I think this axe is a great move. 
this axe gets the point across. It's a great setup tool, and it's always active. Meaning, basically, if I hit around with it, we can do some really nice combos with it. Of course, sometimes you do get stuck like this, and that forces you to use neutral <laughs> But I especially like if I can show it off it. How it works off stage. I think it works beautifully. So after I've lit the opponent on fire, I can hit them with the axe. Yeah, the Super Mario 3 sprites being the base is really neat, in my opinion, to be honest, because I kind of like how this Bowser looks. But at the same time, when you stretch him, it doesn't look very appealing. Like, for example, in F Smash, it doesn't look very good. It looks a little sloppy. But I'm going to give shout out to the creator anyways. The creator, Senor Perez. Great job on your Bowser. You really did a good job of making him feel like a glass cannon. Then we have Side Special, which, again, this is like the most biased move in my opinion. Because this made Bowser the coolest thing to me. It's a suplex. <laughs> I, I want you to try, like, naming a better idea than just a suplex. I think we can actually, yeah, we can actually move Axe with it, too, if we want. And if the sprites are your main issue, do not worry. Uh, you will get past them once you fight this Bowser. And yes, he actually does still have kind of regular Bowser side B. Except it's now much cooler because it's instead of just a slam, it's a suplex almighty. Which I feel looks really funny on Bowser. It kind of looks like Seismic Toss in the Pokemon anime. <laughs> Bowser's just like, whoosh! Uh... Down B is really neat, though. This is not the Bowser Bomb. It is a now stance move where I am much, much faster and much, much stronger. But now I'm taking damage. When you're a glass cannon, you generally don't want to take as much damage. Even when you're just Bowser, you do not want to take a lot of damage. You want to be dishing it out more. So using this and then being so fast is amazing. But as you see, that little meter above me, when it gets full, I catch fire and start taking damage. And since you're probably wondering where the Bowser Bomb is now, we're just going to jump into aerials. Neutral air is huge. That's my biggest gripe with it. But at the same time... It is your normal Bowser neutral air. If I had one change that I can make with it though, I would shrink it a bit because it honestly does feel way too big. It says a lot when I can clip the top platforms or the bottom platforms with this. And with a full hop, I can clip the top platforms. Like, Bowser's great already. You do not need to give him this. Uh, forward air is your standard Bowser forward air now. That's right. The big meaty smack of justice. I love this move. The, the wolf bear is honestly my favorite part of the new ultimate Bowser. And I'm happy it got it kept here. And even more that it got kept with like the axe. So as you can see, it's very good for moving the axe. Especially if the axe is still flying around. And it's also just very good for kills. Which I personally love. I'm sorry, no, I'm being attacked. Wait. I should say we are streaming on the Elgato later tonight. Uh, down air net. Or back air. Boy, I always forget about back air. Because I feel like it's a smash thing. Back air. The awesome... Bowser kick of justice aerial form 
everyone knows that you respect the Bowser back air no matter what. The Bowser back air does not just demand respect, it literally will calmly ask for it, and if you do not answer it, it will proceed to kill you. And that is still true here. It goes flying. Think about how much percent Krag is at, and like, how much percent you normally see Krag die at. Like, he's at 74, and watch how far he goes. 85. This thing adds 11% to you if it hits. But as you can see, even for rival standards, it's slow. I think that it adds more if I'm... Well, it actually does more when I'm boosted because I'm much faster in the air, too. But anyways, up air. Ultimate up air. A lot of this Bowser pulls from ultimate. And I think that's fair because ultimate Bowser's move pool is just perfect and you should never change it. Unless you want to add axe, of course, which then go ahead and change it. And it's good. It kills off the top. It's just ultimate Bowser up air. Down air is the Bowser bomb. You know it. You love it. You love to see people die from it. I do not believe it spikes anymore, but it makes up for that with an area of effect on the ground. And overall just bouncing off the opponent now. So it has a lot more survivability, to be honest. Also, we can see that Bowser actually has after images when he's doing it. I believe that's new. But I do believe that his hair might change color, which is very funny to me. This is a good ledge guarding tool, though, and I personally like it a lot. And now we can get on to perhaps the best... Right? I didn't talk about it when I was talking about the specials for a reason. Whirling Fortress. This deserved its own section. Whirling Fortress is back, baby, and it's in Rivals now, and as you can see by the hitboxes, it's perfectly accurate. I don't know if mashing it makes it go on for longer or higher, but I believe it does. Let's try. So that's with mashing. Here, let's see. With mashing, we got up to top platform. Without, we still make it. Yeah, it no, doesn't rise or change with mashing. Whirling Fortress and Rivals, no one is safe. That's true. No one is safe anymore. Whirling Fortress is back. And Topaz Pikmin, I heard you say you don't like the sprites of Super Mario 3 Bowser, but don't worry. You know what you can do to change that? That's right. Taunt. Is an attack. This is one of the most creative taunts I've ever seen, by the way. Surely because not only does it make it so that I can ledge guard much easier, and that I get this reference that I absolutely love. But watch this. When was the last time you had a rival's character who could taunt in or combo in the taunt? So, for example... We're just going to knock around Crag a bit here. Now, to end taunt, you just need to uh, do any other attack. I believe jab is just the fastest. But yeah, when you're in taunt, you only have one attack by hitting neutral special. It turns into that. Oh wait, actually you have two. I never knew that. Hitting up special will throw hammers. But this Bowser is a lot stronger than you think. I'm trying to see if he has any other moves that I don't know about. It looks like only up special and neutral special give me things. So he can throw hammers and do a little ha 
fireball. Very good for ledge guarding. <laughs> I think that is perhaps the greatest thing I've ever seen on a Rivals character. It's just that level of love towards your character to where you make them have a taunt that not only references um, their appearance and, in sprite form, but also has attacks. So now let's get into gameplay and ults. We have regular Bowser. He looks like regular Bowser. <laughs> we have blue Bowser, who if I remember right, is a reference to the original Super Mario Brothers. We have this gray Bowser, who might be based off of Morton Koopa. Pink Bowser, who I feel like is based off of Roy Koopa. This one is definitely Iggy. He's another Koopaling. Dark Bowser from Bowser's Inside Story. Bowser. I feel like this is a reference to the Dio skin, but I might be wrong. The almighty Dio skin, though. Like that joke. I just find it hilarious in Smash. And then regular. We're gonna start with Dark Bowser, because I think that is the coolest. Let's just show off just how crazy Bowser gets. Look, we are literally doing casual zero to a hundreds. Whirling Fortress. <laughs> I love Whirling Fortress. Like, first off, you made Suplex Bowser. Second off, you made Whirling Fortress. Is there any way that there, this Bowser can be improved? Because if not, if there is, speak now or forever hold your peace. Decided to get rid of that. Oh, damn it. More original sprites and maybe a bit bigger? That's fair enough. <laughs> maybe a bit bigger, though. Alright, so we want King Bowser 2, baby! <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the coolest takes on Bowser, in my opinion. Also, yeah, we have Bowser's side. Let's do, like, modern colors, Bowser. Because I just want to show off. This color palette works very well. And it looks amazing. I have actually a really fun fact to tell everyone. Um, did you know that the original Bowser for Super Mario World, w like the sprite for Bowser was messed up. Hence why he looks very different. And in Super Mario Maker, they fixed it. Come on, Bowsh. The only alt you need now is melee bows. Actually, just add melee bows to smash. Oh my god. God, Zetterburn, how does it feel being at 159%? <laughs> I like that the axe can still hit him while he's on the platform, but it doesn't do anything. It's handy for setup. Oh man. 
on the bright side, I could end it off with another Bowser side if I felt like it. But I feel like I'm not going to this time because I want to show off more cool Bowser stuff. Like, if I remember correctly, and I forgot to show it off, maybe. Bowser explodes when he suplexes during down B. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm currently dying. At, um... One of our... One of my friends... Sending me the Oculus Rift update where it's going to make it harder to hit children. <laughs> Complete with Anakin saying, But this is unfair! I also still love that I've never played on Oculus Rift. So, um, yeah, what I was talking about earlier in Super Mario World, this Bowser is actually messed up and he was meant to have his modern palette. I don't think that this stage is great competitively, but at least it's funny for the Bowser moment. Also, the amazing castle theme from Super Mario World. Bowser moment. Like and subscribe if this is a certified Bowser moment. I should also say... You can go in the boosts when you're taunting. It does nothing for you, if I'm honest. I don't think it actually increases your airspeed like it usually does. So it is kind of useless to go in the down B taunt. But it's there if you want it. I'll go back just in case someone didn't hear that. That's right. It's Bowser. It looks like down air does spike in a strange sort of way. Oh. Oh yeah, boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah, if your single issue is with the sprites, that's fine. Uh, when I saw the sprites, I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. It's like retro bowser sprites because it would be easy to do retro bowser sprites and i honestly think it looks nice i'm for one i think that the aesthetic of this fits very well in the rivals obviously there is changes that could be made like for example but this is going to ruin stream for everyone bowser floats a bit off the stage he has a sprite error where his sprite is not positioned to the correctness of rivals, so he floats a bit. But if you do think that this Bowser is great, like just to play as, thanks Senor Perez, I think he did a great job, and I don't mind it. I think that this Bowser is still great, even if it has some scuff. And yes, I actually did know that what Dry World was somewhere in Spain. 
Did you know that there's files in Earthbound that are yet to be found? Like their real world location is yet to be found. And some people think that it might be in a very small town in the US. If I had to guess though, I would say it's probably not um, Idaho. If you're a bit of a snob when it comes to art, don't worry, man. Look at me. Senor Perez, Senor Perez, apparently Topaz Pikmin wants you to know that none of the stuff they have said you should take to heart. I agree. Like, just because your character doesn't look the best doesn't mean it isn't the greatest gameplay I've ever felt. There's characters who who will look better than this sprite, but have much worse gameplay. If you want an example, please refer to King Bowser and all of his sprites that were taken from Bowser's Inside Story, I think, and how he plays compared to this Bowser. We'll do one more match and then we'll call it an end. Let's go back to Retro Bowser Colors, which I personally love. I like how apparently Bowser's design got changed from the original just because Miyamoto was like, oh, finally, I can do cool stuff with him now. I'm also curious, though. I've never been able to figure this out, but I'm sure it's... I don't know if it's in Rivals because it would be very difficult to program in the Rivals. But Ultimate Bowser actually doesn't want to kill off top platforms of Side B. Because it would do less damage. But I wonder if that's actually present in this Bowser. The Whirling Fortress combo, and the Whirling Fortress, and the Whirling Fortress, and the Up Smash. I swear, you can actually make combos of Bowser. Just relying on his shell. I'm gonna drag you down to hell, Forsburn. <laughs> Alright, it's time to give the consensus, and I think that it's obvious what I feel about this character at this moment. Oops, I can't. I, well, actually, I'm kind of curious if Bowser can make the Hyrule jump. So we'll, we'll try to do that while I talk about it. So Bowser is honestly one of the better glass cannon characters in Rivals, if I have to say. He just feels great. And if I gotta be honest, this is one of my like favorite renditions of Bowser in any game. Potentially even beating out Smash Bowser, actually. And it is actually weird to think about that, that this Bowser might be better than Smash Bowser. But this is just a great Bowser. It feels very, like, heavy on the damage. Which is, like, what Bowser would probably do. He'd be like, I need to do lots of damage and not care about taking the hits. And that feels great. I think they execute it very well. The axe is a nice homage, and I believe it might use the base sprite actually from Super Mario Brothers. I think that axe is an underutilized idea in Rivals, is having this like hitbox mechanic and something tied to it that makes it like 
rewarding to hit it around rather than just use neutral and drag it back to you. And overall, I think that the glass cannon on Bowser works well. Uh, this Bowser is definitely more of a glass cannon than other Bowsers. And uh, down B, great idea. Reminds me of the melee entrance where he's like cloaked in flames. And I like how it has some changes to moves like down B that make it more rewarding to use it. Even though we really don't feel like we need them sometimes. I would download this Bowser if I was you. Not so you could just play Bowser, but just so everyone that you know can also enjoy Bowser. So you can like share it with your friends and be like, Hey, you guys want to see this cool Bowser combo? And then they'll look at this Bowser and be like, oh, he's a little scuffed. And then you just go, oh, yeah, well, you can your character do this? <laughs> can your character do the reverse Hyrule suplex? I didn't think so. <laughs> can your character do a suplex chain? Hold on, can we do the reverse Hyrule suplex? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all I have to say, though. Um, thank you, Senor Perez, for making this character. He's one of my favorites. Thank you all for tuning in the stream. We will be streaming around midnight, probably starting at 11.30. And we will be streaming on my Switch when the first official stream of the Elgato. And if all goes well, hopefully we can see more Elgato stuff. Unfortunately, the Elgato does run a little laggy. But hopefully that all goes well. I hope you had a great time. Be safe and have a happy new year.